Thanks for joining me on my eBay haul for my carnivorous plants. I've got two Nepenthes varieties and two Saracenia varieties. Uh, for the Saracenia varieties, they can get kind of tall, uh, especially, well, actually, probably neither of these, but I don't know. I've never actually done these before, so I wanted a pot with a kind of a nice wider base. It probably doesn't show on the video as well as I'd like, but that is a lot wider than, say, maybe something like that or something like this. Uh, so uh, that way if it gets top heavy, it's still got a nice solid base and there will be lots of water in there to hold it down. Um, so I'm going to start by soaking some more sphagnum moss. All right, well the sphagnum moss for the Saracenias is soaking. I can get started on replanting the Nepenthes. So I'm just gonna use the box that they came in to help make cleanup a little bit easier and get started unpotting and then transplanting these guys. All right, so even though the roots only went down that far, and I hope I didn't hurt the roots there, um, I want to include as much of the original soil in the new pot as possible so that they don't get shocked from transplantation. All right, now that I've got them in their new home, or at least their new pot, I'm gonna go around and feel for any dry tips on any of these plants, uh, any of these pitchers, and cut those off to help minimize um, wasted nutrition trying to go to those uh, leaves to make them grow when they're really dead and they're just gonna be sucking up nutrients from the plant when it needs to be putting energy into making new leaves. All right, so on this one especially, I'm kind of worried that I might have pulled off roots that were helping it because it is quite a luscious plant. It's uh, It looked like it was doing really well until I got my hands on it. Fortunately, this is the one that I didn't order. Um, uh, also, fortunately, it is another high altitude variety, so it should do just fine in the same growing environment as the Ventricosa. Uh, this is, of course, the Sanguine. Did I get those backwards? No, I'm pretty sure I got those right. So all of these pitchers feel really dry, and if you look up close, you can see that they're really not doing well above a certain line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the whole pitcher off. That will help it focus on growing new roots down into that soil that I just put in there. Um, and again, you've got the same soil they came with doing most of the work uh, so that they can transfer slowly, gradually into the soil that I provided. Or I guess, I don't know if you call it soil, substrate. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one. It's nice and small, so that still might grow into a good pitcher, and this one might grow into a new good pitcher. So let's move on to the Ventricosa. Again, you can see that the, uh, the leaf above a certain point is just not doing great, and it's kind of scraggly and dried up, even up the stem a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, I think all of these off. This one is harder to tell because uh, it feels okay and it's just a darker color. 
And I don't know, I'm inexperienced here, I don't know if that will grow into a good picture or if that is already shot. I think I'll leave just this one to see if it does anything for us. All right, let's put this guy or these guys in their new home and see how they like it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so hopefully those will just hang there next to my nightstand and uh, catch all the flies that keep bothering me. All right, now that the sphagnum moss has had a chance to rehydrate and cool off, let's go ahead and give the same treatment to the Saracenia that we gave to the Nepenthes. Oh wow, this one's got really nice roots. In fact, I'm going to break those up just a little bit. This one's got pretty nice roots too. So I, that does kind of worry me that uh, maybe I didn't treat that uh, first Nepenthes quite right. <laughs> So I did plant these guys in kind of a triangular pattern, even though there's only two of them, because I think I will stuff a third plant in there, maybe a Venus flytrap, or if I get a sundew, uh, maybe I'll stick it in there. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much done. I'm going to go around and give this one the same treatment that everybody else got and clip off all of the dead looking leaves. Now for the Saracenia, the pitcher makes up most of the leaf, so I'm just going to cut off where it looks like it's dead and leave the bits that look like they're alive and helping the plant. I'm also using uh, my fingers to feel where it's still moist versus where it feels dry. I do not like that I have to cut off so much on the purpuria here. It's, uh, it just, it, they all feel so dry. I, I do think that I'm doing the right thing in removing these because I don't think they're providing any benefit to the plant. Now this one, even though it looks damaged, it still feels pretty moist. So I'm gonna leave it and just go on to the next dry one. That one actually feels like it might still have some moisture in it. Had to be very careful on that one because there's actually a brand new little pitcher that looks like it's doing pretty well right there and it feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one. Maybe I'll make a time.